The feature staircase describes the way that a product concept and feature set often evolves over the course of a project. And this was originally described to me by a very senior manager uh, who had about 3,500 people under him. And uh, when he described it, really the basic dynamic really rang true for me. And so I'd like to present it here for you. Typically, projects start out with some idea of a level of features that they're going to be able to deliver, features or stories or whatnot. And you work your way through the project for a while thinking you're going to be able to deliver that number of features. And at some point, you take a look at the full scope of what you're trying to do and you realize, uh-oh, we're just not going to be able to deliver this full set of features. And so you take some adjustment in the feature set. You work away for a little bit further into the project and again there comes a point where you realize, oops, we're not quite going to be able to make it. And so you make some additional adjustment to the feature set. You go through that process a couple times, making really pretty minor adjustments to the feature set, and eventually you hit a point that's really more of a crisis point, where you wake up a little bit and you say, uh-oh, crap, we're just not going to be able to make it, and so you make a deep cut in the feature set. And once you get down to that point where you've made the deep cut, then typically you can deliver something pretty close to what you got to in that point. Well, the point that the senior manager made to me was that if you draw a line back from the point where you make the deep deep cut back to the beginning of the project, everything under the staircase represents waste on the project. All of that area under the staircase represents uh, effort that either went into features and preliminary work on features that you ultimately didn't ship and that instead could have been put into features that you actually did release. Uh, and that means that you could have either released uh, the same set of features sooner or you could have uh, uh, just eliminated that waste and released a slightly larger feature set in the same amount of time. Either way, the point is that the sooner you get down to the line, the better off you're going to be. And this uh, description really resonated with me because this uh, described a lot of the projects that I'd been involved with over the course of my career and uh, I think really does illustrate the value of accurate estimation because accurate estimation is part of what helps you to realize how deep you have to make the cut uh, to get down to the line so that you can run a truly efficient project.